Yo, what is going on everybody on YouTube? I am of course Kyle Lose and I am back at it again with another sneaker review. Originally it was an unboxing, but I kept messing up what I was trying to say. So I am just gonna be showing you guys the shoe. It's gonna be kind of just like a quick review of what these are. These are more Fire Adidas Boosts. Unfortunately, these are not from my personal collection. My friend Jordan, the same guy who sold me the Green Pharrell Human Race NMDs, sold these to a good friend of his named Mohammed, who's a super legit guy, shout out to Mohammed. And they agreed to uh, to send me the shoes, let me review the shoes, and then I would send them to Mohammed. So I guess, in a way, I'm a kind of a middleman in this transaction. But I really quick just want to say thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Mohammed, so much for this opportunity. I've been looking to review these for a while. I really want these for my personal collection, so hopefully I will be able to pick them up soon. So let's get into it. Logo. Just like a matte black box. Adidas logo again right there. Here is the size tag. Size 10 and a half Adidas Ultra Boost SE. I can't wait to show you guys. Whoa! These are flames. The Adidas Ultra Boost sneakers and stock times, the social status. These are crazy. I believe these released on February 8th of 2017 via the social status and sneakers and stuff website. And I believe they had their Adidas Consortium store worldwide release on February 18th of 2017, if I'm not mistaken. And these things are absolutely crazy. So here is a brief 360 of the shoes. These things are crazy. If you guys don't know, these are the second release that Sneakers and Stuff has done, the second collaboration that Sneakers and Stuff has done with Adidas brand. First, it was the Sneakers and Stuff uh, Tea Time, I believe is what they were called, the Tea Time Ultra Boost. There'll be a picture of them right here. It's very similar color blocking. Obviously, it's like the way it's designed is much different, the materials are different. But it's a similar, it is the similar coloring with the black, the gray, the different shades of gray actually, and then the white. So these are officially my first time seeing them. And these things are crazy. The materials on these are definitely out of this world. On the toe, you have that different colored meshing right there. They have like this black, uh, like kind of like painted material. I don't know the exact name for it. Right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but right here, I'll let the lotion line shut down a little bit. It's like a suede kind of nubuck material on the Adidas cage, and or the on the three stripe cage. Obviously, you got the boost. There is your Continental sole. It says right there, Continental. These things are crazy. I think the insole is leather. There's the sneakers and stuff and Adidas logo, and I believe that is the social status and Adidas logo, and that was also the. And then they also had the consortium stamp on the box. And to conclude this video, there will be a out, some outside shots, some outside B-roll of the shoe, just so you guys can see it with more natural light, get better footage of the shoe, kind of show you guys how clean the shoe really is. So in my personal opinion, I think this is one of the best Ultra Boosts to release to date. The number one Ultra Boost, in my personal opinion, would probably either be the Sneakers and Stuff Tea Times or the Cream Ultra Boost. I love both of those. They're both going for crazy amounts of money. I believe the sneakers and the first pair of the Sneakers and Stuff are going for almost 1,200 DS right now, and that is absolutely crazy. That blows my mind. I remember they used to be going for like four or 500, and they've literally just been steadily rising along with every other uh, Boost shoe that has released. These are definitely top 10. They may even make it into the top five best Ultra Boost to release, in my personal opinion because these things are crazy, materials are crazy, the collaboration was a really good collaboration. Just the, the materials are absolutely crazy on these. I love the, the suede cage. I love like the black uh, Ultra Boost writing on the black uh, cage part of the heel. I see right here, it's a social status and sneakers and stuff on the aglet of the laces, so the lace tips. If you guys don't know what aglet mean, aglet is like a lace aglet is the tip of the lace. On the tongue, it has leather, really, really nice soft leather, I really like that. The inside of the heel also has black soft leather, kind of giving you that feeling from the Yeezy 750s, because you know the Yeezy 750s have that leather on the back heel. But yeah, this is a really, really dope shoe, really good summer, summer shoe in my opinion. Having this in my hand right now really makes me wish I had this pair, really makes me wish this was my personal pair. I was originally going to buy this from Jordan if Mohammed was not interested, but Mohammed, damn it, you were interested, you bought him off of Jordan. But thank you guys so much for giving me this opportunity again, I really appreciate it. Also, I do know that these came as kind of like a pack, 
there was two different shoes that were released in like the, with like this the sneakers and stuff and social status theme. It was obviously the Ultra Boost, and then there's also a pair of I believe Adidas Superstars with the Boost material on the mid. So those had a very very similar color blocking with like the different like grays, black and white. So if you guys haven't seen those, there's a picture of them right here. That's what they look like. I think those are pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of the Superstar model. I know it's like super, super classic. If I was to get a pair of Superstars, it'd probably be like just like that classic all white with the black three stripes on it. I think that's pretty clean. So that'll conclude this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys like what you saw, make sure you smash that like button. It would really mean a lot to me. Let's try to get this video to say 30 likes. I really appreciate it. Also, if you guys see this and you like it and you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me get to 100 subscribers. Hit that century mark. I'd also really appreciate that. I really would like to hit it before my next video goes up. If you guys like the content, if you guys like the shoes, you like my video, please leave a comment below. I'd really, really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.